The Philippines have a rich and unique history. In the final edition of our four-part series, Philippine Life, we explore three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We visit the former Spanish colonial town of Vigan and the Baroque Church of Pauai. But we begin our trip here, in the rice terraces of Banawi. Filipinos proudly refer to them as the eighth wonder of the world, whilst the Spanish thought they were steps to heaven. Located in the remote mountainous region in the north of the country, one of the rice terrace's most beautiful sites is the village of Batad. Here, paddy fields nestle around the town like an amphitheatre. They were built 2,000 years ago by the mountain tribe Ifugao, and the traditional methods of producing rice have been handed down from one generation to the next ever since. Every morning we have the same routine. Before we leave to work in the rice field, we have to prepare the rice. We have to pound it so that when we go home, the rice is ready to be cooked for dinner. Rosalia Buya and Tessie Manod have spent their whole lives in Batad. Each of them has seven children who help with the daily grind. For as long as they can remember, tasks between men and women have been strictly divided. The work between men and women is separated. The women are the ones preparing and cleaning the paddies and the walls of the rice terraces. We also plant the rice. The men are the ones who repair the stone walls and put the soil on the paddies. The work can be very physical, so some young inhabitants try their luck in the city instead. Older residents here hope that their heritage will still be preserved. We cannot abandon this rice field. Instead, we preserve because this rice treasure has a sentimental value on us. Sacred traditions are equally important to the Ifugao, and Bulol, the rice god, plays a central role in ceremonial proceedings. During harvest time, we uh, perform uh, rituals because we do believe that the rice god are the one who's protecting uh, the rice that have been uh, planted in the rice field so the uh, enemies like birds and rats did not destroy it. The Philippines is a beguiling blend of cultures. North from Batad is the town of Vigan, a UNESCO World Heritage Site considered to be the best preserved example of a Spanish colonial town in Asia. And it's far from being a museum. People here still live and work in the centuries-old ancestral houses. Well, Vigan is a, a fusion of the East and the West. So uh, you get best of both worlds. We convinced the homeowners to open up their ground floors so that uh, then it would bring back uh, its uh, old status of being a shop house. Little by little, it brought back the life in Vigan. Just 60 kilometers north of Vigan is the Church of San Agustin in Pauai. Known as an outstanding example of the earthquake Baroque style of architecture, its coral stone walls have survived more than 50 earthquakes in the last 300 years thanks to the massive buttresses along its sides. The Filipino builders here never had any first impression or first uh, experience as to how churches look like in Europe. So they, ba they basically created Baroque churches based on their own interpretations. You can see the love that they have in, uh, in the hope and in the aim to build, the, to build a structure that would last forever.
From the bustling megacity of Manila to the vacation island of Barakay, the underwater paradise of Luzon and the country's rich cultural heritage, our trip is coming to an end. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you'd like to see any of our reports again, check out our website at www.euronews.com/life. Thanks for watching.